President Bola Tinubu has announced the establishment of the National Engineering and Innovation Fund. The President made the announcement at the annual general meeting and International Engineering Conference of the Nigerian Society of Engineers in Abuja. Uh, Tinubu was represented by the Minister of State for Works, Bello Mohamed Gorunyo. He says the initiative is to provide grants and resources to engineers and technologists working on solutions for Nigeria's uh, unique challenges. Minister of Agriculture and Food Security Abubakar Kiari taxed the Nigerian Society of Engineers to come up with sustainable engineering solutions that will promote climate smart agriculture to grow crops under all uh, weather conditions. Our government is committed to significantly increasing investment in infrastructure pro projects, not only in urban centers, but also in rural communities that are often overlooked. But infrastructure is the only one piece of the puzzle for our nation to thrive. We need a robust industrial sector that can compete and on a global scale. We are implementing policies that encourages industrialization, support local manufacturing, and, and create opportunities for engineers to innovate and thrive. To address the complex nature of food security and climate change, government is implementing policies that promote sustainable engineering solutions through the application of innovative technologies renewable energy transition and integration, efficient resource management, sustainable infrastructure development and good agricultural practices to enhance agricultural resilience, productivity and sustainability, a significant contribution to food security challenge. The Nigerian Society of Engineers should engage in robust discussions that will result in tangible measurable and impactful engineering solutions which can effortlessly mitigate the challenges and ameliorate food security problems occasioned by the systemic decadence experienced in a nation that have put considerable pressure on our food production and agricultural value chain system. From the resolutions of the 20, 2023 conference, the Nigerian set of engineers has taken bold steps to advance our manufacturing sector and address Nigeria's energy and sustainability challenges. The twin challenges of food security and climate change are not just theoretical. They are issues that define the survival and progress of our nation today. This conference must therefore serve as a clarion call for engineers to rise as problem solvers and innovators. Well, join me now is the president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, engineer uh, Margaret Uguntala. Thank you very much for joining us on Newsnight. Thank you. Uh, we saw you moments ago uh, stressing the fact, uh, the point that uh, Nigerian engineers need to, you know, uh, step up to the plate in providing innovative solutions uh, for Nigeria and Nigerians. Uh, I mean, uh, when you look at it, really, it's like uh, engineers have a hand in almost every aspect of our lives, whether you're talking about infrastructure, road infrastructure, housing, and what have you. But let me allow you to do uh, much of the talking. Uh, you've, uh, the president has announced uh, this um, you know, uh, National Engineering and Innovation Fund. Let's start from there. Yeah. How important is this? Well, it's, um, I think it's an initiative that is um, overdue right. uh, because uh, without funding, we know that innovation is um, as good as useless because we, we need to have um, a deliberate um, policy in place, which is to, for, for the funding of initiatives and innovations and to develop the country. And that's just all that we need. Mm -hmm. Apart from the fact that we also need to invest in research and development to improve the, uh, whatever the uh, innovations that we engineers come up with. So I, I would commend the, um, the president for this initiative, which uh, we have, um, we have um, 
say um, taken very, very, very well. Right. You know, we we welcome the initiative. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, beyond that, I, I would actually like to you know understand in what specific areas have you know engineers come up with you know really critical innovations, but they're still just on paper or haven't really gone anywhere. Are there any that you can you know point at? Yes, there, that there, are, there, there are quite a number of them. Right. And um, I'll start with the fact that um, in NSA, so every year we have we bring together um, innovators, we bring mm -hmm. to, together engineers who have ideas on what to do. Um, in 2021, we actually had a young man mm -hmm. come with um, an innovation on um, it's, uh, it's it's a kind of AI, yeah. uh, yes, and um, he, he used it for for telephone for um citing not just citing um, um i'm trying to look for the word now right. but he, he came up with this innovation and the nigerian Society of engineers promoted him we also have had one for who, who developed um, a refrigerator using gas uh -huh. you know so a special kind of gas that you could homegrown you know and all of that so it's um there are quite a number of innovations mm. and that we have tried to um, promote and um, particularly in the design of manufacturing equipment uh -huh. but in the design of and, and now we are talking about agriculture and food security yes yes so we we have a number of our engineers who are with the what, what with the, the center for the um, agricultural manufacture of uh, equipment mm -hmm. and we've had some of them who have really been involved in the design and um, and, and development you know, and fabrication of farming equipment and tools. So what we just need now, yeah. I, and uh, I will say that in the past, we have had the Bank of Industry collaborate with the Nigerian Society of Engineers, mm -hmm. um, you know, encouraging innovation. And we actually, in, as far back as 2015, they gave prizes for innovation you know, and all of that. And just yesterday, we had them come back again. And one of them was at the conference today but beyond to talk tokenism, about funding. Beyond tokenism and all of that, uh, how can we now get engineers to be front and center of our developmental uh, strides, whether we're talking about agriculture or every, you know, any other uh, area of uh, national existence? Yes. Okay. We, we, we still, we are there. Really. Yeah. So we just need to be, maybe we need to be more active right. and to be more forward so that people will see us. You see, the problem that the engineers, most engineers have is that we are at the back background, you know, working and developing is ideas. Is that part of the of that. reason why we ha continue to have building collapse, for example? <laughs> Our roads are in terrible uh, shape. They engineers don't are not anymore. responsible for that. They're not. They're not. But they do, ha they do play a role so, to ensure that these things don't happen. Yes, right? we do play a role to ensure that it, does, it doesn't happen. Right. Uh, in terms of when you talk about collapse of infrastructure, mm -hmm. building roads and all, it's not due to the fault of the engineer because the engineers are also involved in the design and ah. construction of roads and, and, and buildings. But where you have the, there are instances where the engineers are not called upon to mm -hmm. do this, to participate in those projects. I mean, particularly in the, in, in, in the construction of buildings. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people who are experts in uh, buildings and are given the job of structural engineers that should have been given to professionals. So what's the NSC doing to ensure that, you know, uh, the quarks, uh, the, those who are not uh, real engineers, are, uh, you know, taken out of the system uh, so that, um, you know, uh, you are at the core? Okay, so what we do, we synthesize the, the public. Mm -hmm. But as, aside from that, we also have what we call, we, we collaborate with the en Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, which is saddled with the responsibility of regulating engineering in all its aspects and ramifications. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, in collaborating with them, we have this, um, this um, body, which we call the uh, State Technical Committee, right. or the Engineering Regulation and Monitoring Team. So mm -hmm. we go about, you know, looking, inspecting, and monitoring projects to ensure that they do meet the standards and, um, that are required the requirements that are necessary for the construction right. and maintenance of the structures. Now, the failure of roads mm -hmm. and other, other such infrastructure is usually due to non lack of maintenance. So right. 
in designing, we engineers will design with the view of scheduled maintenance. But then when it comes to implementation, you're left we're, out. We are not usually involved. They, yeah. Now, uh, very quickly, back to the issue of food security and the, I mean, the Minister of Agriculture uh, actually tasked the NSC to come up with sustainable engineering solutions to promote uh, climate smart agriculture to grow, grow uh, crops. Address that very, very quickly. I mean, yes. what, yeah. Okay, so we, we, what we have done now mm. is to bring together a, a, a number of people to discuss the matter, to discuss the issue of developing sustainable solutions from AI to blockchain to renewable energy in particular, mm. because we know that agriculture um, requires a lot. There are a lot of components that are um, involved in food, secur with f uh, in food security. Uh, you, you start from the planting, you start from irrigation, mm -hmm. you start, and then you have the storage, you have the transportation, and with all of this, you need a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And that's where renewable energy comes in. Because with climate change, you know, the it yeah. climate change has, has affected agriculture in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the seasons are different, there's flooding, all kinds of things that affect the production of uh, the agricultural production. And beyond that, we're also looking at the development of tools, farming tools, uh -huh. not just hoes and cutlasses. Especially as we're talking about mechanized me mechanization. Yeah. So we're, we're looking also at mechanization. And to do this, we're also, we in NSC, we are collaborating with some entities, with some organizations. Just today, uh, we signed a uh, MOU with two different organizations. We have Asset Rice Limited, which is involved in heavy mechanized, mechanized farming, and yeah. particularly to the rural, in the rural yeah. area. Because we also realize that we need to cascade this mm. to the rural area and bring farming, you know, mechanized farming to the rural area. So we are planning to have demonstration farms in the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Okay. And uh, already in collaboration with Asset Rice, we have started in uh, Ogun State, you know, mm. with um, about 100 hectares of land. So we, have we are able to deploy about 1,500 young people, uh -huh. graduates, Great. you know, create jobs for them, apart from the fact that we are also uh, developing agriculture. And uh, in, in Enugu State, in Abia State, we are going to do about the same, the same thing. So we are looking at mechanization, we are looking at um, renewable energy, and a lot of other sustainable ways of ensuring food security. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much, Engineer Margaret Oguntala, is President of Nigeria Society of Engineers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.